You want to know how to prevent your body from losing gains when you take a break, like when you move or you're on vacation? Watch this. Our next caller is Yinkon from Missouri. What's up, Yinkon? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Uh, first off, I just want to really thank you guys. Um, appreciate the time uh, to you know take my call. Um, basically, uh, let me start off by kind of telling you guys how I got back into, uh, I guess, just getting more fit. Um, in August of 2021, um, I decided... You know, I wanted to try to see if I can be a live donor for my brother, kidney donor. So um, I was trying to talk to him, like ask him like what the process was. And he was saying, no, like, don't worry about it. You know, you got a family and kids. Um, So I ended up finding it out myself. And um, I was trying to take like the preliminary stuff to to take the tests. And uh, basically they rejected me because, you know, 5'10", 235. They were like, yeah, you're like obesely overweight. And I was trying to make my case like, look, I still play volleyball. Like I play sports like on a daily basis and, and stuff. They're just like, your BMI is like way off the charts. Like you'd have to lose some weight. So that kind of kickstarted everything. And um, I got down to 195 by November. Um, and then I just uh, kept, I, I did it again. And they, uh, they accepted me that time. But um Long story short, it didn't happen because uh, it, with it being his second donor, it would have had to be like a blood and um, and uh, uh, antibody match, and we weren't that. But um, basically, like, it really like woke me up because I was like, "What am I doing with my life?" Because you know he's like in the hospital like two, three times a year with like blood poisoning and stuff, and like I'm just here like in the like the heartland of. America just like eating just crap food and stuff. And so I like was like, I know I lost the weight like horribly. It was like the worst way to do it. Um, and so I was like, I need to find out like, you know, ways to, you know, get myself in, in the shape better and in healthier ways. And so I found you guys and um, basically um, I'm currently at 184 right now. I have uh, a couple goals in mind. Um, I feel like they're pretty ambitious for what I want to do, but at the same time, it's like kind of everywhere. For one, I want to be able to dunk a ball, uh, basketball, and I want to be able to get into the 1,000 club. Um, but this last month, we actually just found out uh, we're going to be moving to Malaysia in July. So um, my wife's got a job there, and I'm going to be able to you know, be a stay-at-home dad for a little bit, uh, work on some coding stuff, but... Um, it's got me like really flustered because I feel like I'm in a really good spot, like in terms of like where, like my journey of fitness. And I'm just like, kind of like, how do you deload or if you, that's even, you know, an option or like, you know, um, what do I do to kind of prep for that move? And once I get there, like what's something I can do while looking for a gym? Yeah. Good question. Okay. So whenever I, would go travel or whenever I'd have a client travel and they weren't going to work out while they were gone, I wouldn't deload lead up, leading up to the vacation or the travel. I would actually push them a little bit past over training mm. so that that time off is more recovery. So in other words, let's say I'm not going to work out for two weeks or a week. I'm going to train even harder, a little bit more volume leading up to it so that that time off, a, a lot of it is recovery and, and recuperating, and it kind of helps balance out that time off. That's That would be my approach. So I wouldn't deload. Okay. I would work out hard, maybe even harder, leading up to the time off. Now, while you're gone, if do you have maps anywhere? Um, I don't. I, I'm i sorry. I should have mentioned. I'm a new, I'm a new listener. I started listening to you guys in, uh, back in December. Okay. I'll send you maps anywhere. It's uh, a workout program. It requires okay. no equipment except for resistance bands. It's an exceptional workout program. It blew up during the pandemic when gyms are locked down and people loved it so much that uh, now people are incorporating it all the time in the routine. So we're going to send that over to you. It's a great program. Follow that until you find a gym you can work out in. Can we send um, them anabolic for now though? Because when when do you actually leave? Because wouldn't you uh, wouldn't you want them doing like anabolic right now and then switch to anywhere? Yeah. Wait, you- are you how long do you have? Oh, you said you're moving in July, so you got some time, right? Yeah, yeah. Run mm-hmm. anabolic. Now. Well, either anabolic or something even higher volume leading up to it, like Maps Aesthetic, uh-huh. um, just to get you, like I said, to that point where you're pushing a little past, and then you have that recovery while you're. Mm-hmm. Not- how long do you think you're not going to work out for? By the way, 
I'm hoping not too long because like I kind of go crazy if I don't do anything. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I've kind of like Googled places around and our first thing is like, we're going to be stuck uh, pretty much like, like at a workplace for at least a month until we can like buy a car out there and every gym's like at least 10 minutes away got it prx yeah yeah i'm gonna send i'm gonna send you uh maps anabolic and, yeah and, and lead lead up to it and then as soon as you can't have you don't have equipment do maps anywhere mm -hmm. you can literally do it anywhere so you need no equipment for it just get yourself some good resistance bands you'll be totally set awesome well i really appreciate that guys thank you so much yeah no problem mm -hmm. Yeah, did you guys ever do that with clients where they would have time off so you train them a little harder? Oh, yeah, totally. Time off? Yeah. The one thing I wanted to address with him that we, we didn't get a chance to kind of get into was he he admittedly said that he lost all that weight, probably the, the unhealthy way. way. So yeah. I'm assuming that meant a lot of cardio and low right. calorie. So my concern was just throwing him into like a high volume program again. Yeah, no, I see that. Yeah. So anabolic was the direction I thought we should take him first to build yeah. up his metabolism. He's got time before he goes in July. Plus, plus he's got, I mean, he's not going to have that much time off with anywhere. You With that program, literally, you are you can work out in a closet with that program. Right. With no equipment. And then the other thing that, you know, here's, uh, I mean, it's a plug for our partner, PRX, like, um, a lot of people don't know this, but they have this they have this set up to where it's like paying a membership. So if you, I mean, obviously if you buy a whole gym set up for your garage that is awesome, like their setup is, it could be pretty expensive to do it all at once. So they offer it to do like a payment plan. So mm -hmm. it's like it hits you like a, yeah. a gym membership. So, you know, if he, uh, I understand that moving can be expensive. He may not be working right now. So asking him to spend $10,000 on equipment was probably unrealistic. Yeah, you pay monthly like a membership. But yeah, if you were going to go get a membership at a gym anyways, uh, it, it's probably not going to be that much more. And now mm -hmm. you have it in your house so you don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good way to do it. Plus, they give you a lot of different options for bundles. So that way you just get the essentials you need to keep it going. So yeah, that's, that's a great option to have. Excellent. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.